If you like Chloe Grace Moretz, you should definitely watch our picks for her best movies. Maybe I'll jam my foot up your snatch. Oh, she's super bitchy. I like. So what's the big deal anyway? We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Kick-Ass 2. What's wrong with Robin? Would you like Big Daddy's Robin? Okay, Robin wishes he was me. What I'm trying to say is we should be partners, you and me. Kick-Ass 2 is a black comedy superhero film written and directed by Jeff Wadlow and stars Aaron Taylor Johnson, Christopher Mintz Plus A, Chloe Grace Moretz, and Jim Carrey. Following the 2010 hit comic adaptation, Kick-Ass 2 continues the saga of how superheroes might live in the real world. With cynical humor and bloody violence, we see the douchebaggy Kick-Ass face off against a new series of archenemies, accompanied by the ruthless assassin superhero Hit-Girl, who now must struggle with average high school problems. I want to walk the walk, and you're the closest thing I know to a real superhero. Aren't you tired of being on your own? Don't you want to know someone's there for you? Number 9 I can't really think of anything. Don't overthink it. When did your same-sex attractions get in the way of your goals? The Miseducation of Cameron Post is a drama film directed by Desiree Akavan and stars Chloe Grace Moretz, John Gallagher Jr., Sasha Lane, Carrie Butler, and Quinn Shepard. Following the premise of its title, The Miseducation of Cameron Post sees a young teen girl sent to a religious anti-lesbian treatment camp after being caught in a back seat with the prom queen. Pretending to go along with the process, she bonds with other inmates and learns more about herself than ever intended. I wanted to be like her, and I confused that with being with her. Correct. I guess it makes sense. Number 8. If I stay. Hey. I thought you went home. I got lost. <laughs> If I Stay is a teen romantic drama film directed by R.J. Cutler and stars Chloe Grace Moretz, Muriel Enos, Joshua Leonard, and Stacey Keach. When the most important decision of your life is put before you, you better make a choice before it's too late. Torn between following her dreams to be a musician or staying with the man she loves, young Mia's fate is changed by a sudden car accident. Caught between life and death, she must come to understand existence in a new way. I'm going to be mostly alone. That's the thing. You're not alone. Not anymore. Number seven. <laughs> Suspiria is a supernatural horror film directed by Luca Guadagnino and stars Dakota Johnson, Tilda Swinton, Mia Goth, and Chloe Grace Moretz. Remaking the impactful horror classic with modern storytelling and subtle thrills, Suspiria is set in a post-war Berlin and features an ambitious ballet dancer hoping to become the next big thing. But upon arriving at an all-female dance school, she will soon learn that something sketchy sleeps beneath the floor of the studio, and a dark truth will ravage them. Number 6. Clouds of Sils Maria. Well, no one really gives a fuck about Helen at that point, do they? I'm sorry, but I mean, it's pretty clear to me this poor woman's all washed up. Clouds of Sils Maria is a drama film written and directed by Olivier Assayas and stars Juliette Binoche, Kristen Stewart, and Chloe Grace Moretz. Brought to life by a powerhouse trio of talented actresses, Clouds of Sils Maria offers emotional depth and a journey of personal crisis in the interesting fields of filmmaking. As a reflection of her earlier works, veteran actress Maria Enders takes part in a revival of a career-launching play she took part in years ago. But sometimes the past isn't as glamorous as we remember. You know, it's time to move on. I think they want what comes next. If you just held it a few seconds longer. It doesn't really feel right for me, Maria. Number five. Owen, do you like me? Yeah. Let Me In is a romantic horror film written and directed by Matt Reeves and stars Cody Smith-McPhee, Chloe Grace Moretz, Elias Coteas, and Richard Jenkins. 
remaking the fantastic original in all the right ways. Let Me In builds on the original's legacy with the addition of new thrills and scares. Following a young and lonesome boy spending his time plotting revenge against his bullies, his only friend is a strange girl that only comes out at night. Soon, he starts to suspect she's behind a series of brutal murders. Would you still like me? Even if I wasn't a girl? What do you mean? Number 4 The Equalizer I'm Terry. Bob. The Equalizer is a 2014 vigilante action thriller film directed by Antoine Fuqua and stars Denzel Washington, Martin Sokas, Chloe Grace Moretz, and David Harbour. The Equalizer comes with Denzel Washington at his best and brutal, raw, perfectly directed action sequences. A thrill ride about revenge, codes, assassins, and pure joyful masculinity. And along the way, The Equalizer manages to tell an emotionally compelling story that makes this movie one of a kind. I think you can be anything you want to be. I mean, your world, Robert, doesn't really happen that way of mine. Change your world. Number three. We could get into trouble. That's how you know it's an adventure. Hugo is an adventure drama film directed by Martin Scorsese and stars Ben Kingsley, Sacha Baron Cohen, Asa Butterfield, Chloe Grace Moretz, and Jude Law. Legendary director Martin Scorsese, who undeniably formed cinema itself, gives one of his greatest takes on the story of the art form itself with this charming family adventure. Set during the upcoming of the first movies, the film follows young and homeless Hugo Cabret as he seeks answers regarding his dead father, while finding a mentor in one of cinema's greatest inventors. How did you two rats get in here? <laughs> Better not see you in here again! Number two. Rachel, what are you doing here? I'm here to help you. Help me how? First, put down the plate. Though it was a directorial debut for Mark Webb, the film was an immediate blockbuster. The romantic comedy drama, with Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Zoe Deschanel in the lead roles, has us rooting for them against all odds. The story follows Tom as he meets Summer and falls in love with her, only for her to feel nothing at all. Unlike traditional love stories, it isn't boy meets girl and happily ever after. It celebrates love as a feeling above everything. Drink this. What is that? Vodka. Um, does mom know that you're here because it's probably past 10. Don't worry about it. Just start from the beginning and tell us what happened. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. I heard you say it. No, no, Susanna. Susanna! I just heard you say it! What is wrong with you? Susanna, what? What is wrong with you? No! 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 Tell me. You're a divorce lawyer? Yeah, he's my dad. Wait, do you live here now? All right. Yeah, we should go to school. Yeah, Dad, stop. Just go. You're from New York. I am. What's Manhattan like? I'm going to live there when I'm 16. Carolyn has a fantasy that I'm going to allow this. And Mother has a fantasy I want in a way she doesn't. Number one. You won't be scared when some junky asshole pulls a Glock. I wouldn't have been scared anyways. That's my girl. Kick-Ass is a 2010 superhero film directed by Matthew Vaughn and stars Aaron Johnson, Christopher Mintz Plasse, Mark Strong, Chloe Grace Moretz, and Nicolas Cage. Why do superheroes not exist in the real world? The answer to that question seems obvious to many, but not to Dave, a teenage boy who dreams of being the world's first comic hero. What starts as an internet meme soon becomes an absurd course of events filled with crime bosses, exploding heads, and a lot of brutal action. Okay, pop quiz. What's the proper name for one of those? Easy Balathon. It's a uh, Filipino. Ask me another. Excellent. Good. Uh, the AR-15 was a lighter, smaller caliber version of what design? Uh, Eugene Stoner's AR-10. Now give me a hard one. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description.
And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.